Jeff is a developer that I connected with about a month before our uh, transparency event happened in Cleveland. Uh, and he had been kind of fiddling with, with some open government-ish projects uh, before we connected. Um, and through, through the, the TAP project, um, really just dug in. And it's been over the, the past nine months, we've had a chance to work together and with the county and doing some pretty, um, starting some pretty cool projects. I think we have a sense that we are just getting started, uh, but, but the work that's ahead of us is, is pretty exciting and pretty important. And um, I'm happy that he's here today to, to share some of what we've been doing with you. So I'm uh, really excited to talk about Cleveland because I love Cleveland I, and I get to tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to set the stage for what Beth was talking about, uh, the, the TAP Summit that we put on last year. Um, so Cleveland is the county seat of Cuyahoga County and Cuyahoga is also the river that runs through Cleveland. Cuyahoga means crooked and we're going to come back to crooked in a minute. Um, but it's got a, a twisting history as well, um, our city and our region. Um, so, can't see it very well, but this is in the 60s when uh, the Cuyahoga River caught fire because it was so polluted. Um, this is when Cleveland was called the mistake on the lake. Be a little bit before that, we were the best location in the nation. So it kind of keeps going back and forth, and we've gone through a lot. Most, most recently, the, the foreclosure crisis hit us really hard, and it's, um, it's been a difficult process. Um, the city is still trying to come back from this. A lot of just economic downturn in general. Um, the Great Recession, all that. That is our ex-county commissioner uh, and his new friends, the FBI, who are taking him to jail. He um, w went down on 32 charges of like racketeering and other corruption-related things. So what we're, what we're doing now is um, coming back, renewal. This is an urban garden, and uh, the idea here is that we're taking all those vacant properties from the foreclosure crisis and turning it into... Um, a local food movement. Um, on the political side, we have a new county charter. Uh, citizens last year voted in, enacted a new charter to restructure county government. Um, thank you. Um, to, to reshape the way that we're doing things. Awesome. Lightning. Um, <laughs> so, and, and that's our, our new county uh, executive um, through the restructuring who's, who he ran on sort of a ticket of reform and transparency and open government. So this has been what he's talking about. That set the stage for um, the party that Beth decided to throw last year, which was the Transparency Action Plan Summit. Um, you know, it was ripe for this kind of thing to happen. Um, so th the summit happened over the course of two days, uh, about 200 people o over that weekend. Um, we had speeches and panels. The county executive ha gave a speech on transparency. Um, we also had, on the second day, breakout sessions where we got to, you know, work a little more closely with each other. Um, pilot projects happened around stuff like budget, procurement, um, public engagement, the digital divide. Um, that's our CIO, Jeff Mallory, that Beth introduced, who we're just really excited about all the, the county participation that we got. Um, about 35 elected officials and members of county government participated over those two days, um, which was pretty awesome, especially for putting on the, the organizing this thing in three weeks. My involvement was, Beth found out that I'd done some scraping on my own time of county foreclosure data um, to repurpose it, kind of scratch my own itch. So I came to the summit and talked about open data. Um, the TAP summit had a lot of really great impact. Um, part of what I was involved with following that was continuing the open data thread um, which I was a little bit afraid the way that everybody was talking would get bogged down in large organizations that they wanted to bring in. I also launched a, a civic hacking meetup. Just let's get some geeks together, um, try to get people uh, turned on to hacking for civic, um, in the civic space. And we also um, moved forward, continued that relationship with the county. They came to us with a proposal. They wanted to work on a mobile app for um, gathering customer feedback at county agencies. So 
we got those uh, 15 or so people together um, over the course of a month or a month and a half and built a, uh, a mobile app, sort of an app. It's, it's a Drupal jQuery mobile based um, solution um, for the county for that purpose. So we're really excited about where the relationship um, with them will lead and, and we feel like we have a, a really um, a, a potential here for a lot and we're excited about um, what could happen. We're also excited, uh, I've been talking with the folks in Portland about Civic Apps and they're ready to open source that and uh, contribute it back to the Drupal community and to the community at large for anybody that wants to build a, a data or apps catalog. Um, so that's pretty awesome too. Thanks a lot. Um, I hope to meet as many of you as I can this weekend. I'm here because I'm so inspired by the work that you all have been doing. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this.